What's up everyone? Today we're going to go over problem 587, plant outer trees. Now this is a convex hull problem and pretty much the input is a uh, grid of points, 2D arrays, and the output is going to be all the points that form kind of like a gift wrap or rubber band around just the outer perimeter as tight as it can be. Now the solution from this for, uh, for this problem comes from the Leak Code Solution tab, but I changed the um, uh, syntax and everything because they changed the method signature and this is a kind of complex and detailed problem so look through the code that I'll post in the description below so you can follow along and it's not confusing and before I get into the code there's a couple of things you have to keep in mind one we have to understand what the orientation of three points means and two if three points are on the same line like if they for form a collinear uh, and, and if they form like a line segment. Based on that, we can start constructing this. So I'm gonna write the uh, uh, code for that stuff first. So if we have three points, uh, this is how we construct the uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise for them. So we have uh, coordinate P, Q, R, um, with the values Y2, Y x y x y x y now the slope of this is going to be uh, q of 1 minus p of 1 over q of 0 minus p of 0 and then r of 1 minus q of 1 divided by r of 0 minus q of 0 now we have to see if the subtraction of this is greater than zero or not. And if it is greater than zero, then we need to say that these three points are clockwise, or if they're less than zero, they're anti-clockwise. And if it's equal to zero, then they're collinear and we have to check, or they're linear and we have to check if they are collinear. So to write this out, we can um, write the method out itself. Int orient for orientation given three points int p int q int r is going to be like mm, int v is going to be this q right so q1 minus oh q1 minus p1 times uh, this is going to be r1 minus q1 and this is going to be r0 minus uh, q0 and this is going to be q0 mm, minus p0 the reason I, I did this is because when we combine the fractions from earlier for the slopes this is all we need to determine if something is positive or negative so if v is equal to 0 then return 0. Um, else, what we're going to do is return v is greater than 0, uh, 1, and 2. So what 1 and 2 signify is being clockwise or anti-clockwise. Now that we wrote the orient function, let's see if when three points are linear, in the case where v is equal to z, let's see if they line the same line segment. So boolean on seg int p int uh, point q and point r. Let's see if r lies on point p and q. Um, return r of, z r of 0, which means r of rx is greater than or equal to the minimum p of 0 and q of 0 and r of 0 is less than or equal to math of min p of 0 oh max this is going to be max what this means is that the x coordinate is between the coordinates of p and q the r coordinate the r's x coordinate is between p and q's x coordinate same thing we have to check for the y r of 1 is greater than or equal to math dot min p of 1 q 
of 1 and it's r1 is less than or equal to math dot max p of 1 comma q of 1 yeah uh, if this condition holds true and the orientation of the three points is zero then that means those three points line in one line segment like these guys Now, we can add all the points to a list of integer arrays. I'm going to call it list, new array list. And the first thing we have to do is check the base case. If there is less than four points, we just return points. If n, where n is equal to points.length, int n is equal to points.length, n is less than four. Uh, is less than four. We return points itself. Else, we get into the meat of the algorithm. First, we need to do is find the point, the leftmost x coordinate. So let, let's write l for the leftmost, and then int p uh, is equal to zero. Int q is equal to zero. These are going to be the two points that we use. Two pointers to the points in the points in array to determine. So it's going to build like this. This is going to be P, this is going to be Q, P and then Q, P and then Q, P and then Q, and then it's going to end. So first we have to find the leftmost, right? So for int i is equal to 0, i is less than points dot length, or n, yeah, and i plus plus. If points of i of 0 is less than points of L of 0, then L is going to be set to I. In our case, 1 comma 1 is actually the leftmost. So L is going to actually start with being 0. In a different input, L might be something else. Now, this is actually going to be a do while loop. And we have to write it in that way. So what we do is first write do, and then the first thing we're going to do is add. Um, well, no, first we have to set p is equal to l once we found the leftmost. Now p is going to be this guy. Um, do, so list dot add uh, points of p. The reason we do this is because the leftmost coordinate is guaranteed to be on the convex hull. Then what we do is q is set to p plus 1 mod n. What this means is q is going to be the one right next over it. Maybe, maybe. We're going to start with that. What we're going to do is check. Uh, no, q is going to be this guy. That's what it's going to start with. But we need it to end up over here, which is what this for loop is going to do. Mm, for int i equals 0 i is less than n i plus plus if the orientation of uh, points of p points of i points of q is going to be equal to 2 then q is going to be set to i what this does is it checks what is the most counterclockwise point on this whole thing and it ends up being this q right here so that's what this guy is going to take care of. This is the orient function I wrote earlier. Once I find that, I'm going to check, hey, is there any point on these two, between these two, that I need to add to my convex hull? And in this case, we don't have to add anything, but we still have to write the for loop. For int i is equal to 0, i is less than n i plus plus. If i is not equal to, i is not equal to p and i is not equal to q and i oh 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 if orient of points of i uh, uh, points of uh, p comma points of i comma points of q is equal to 0 and all three things p i and q are on the line same line segment so on seg, 
points of i, uh, uh, points of p, comma, points of q, comma, points of r, then I'm going to add, if it's like that, then I'm going to add points of i to it. Now, there's nothing in between p and q right here, but when p and q are here, when this is p and this is q later on, then this point in this middle is going to get added in to the convex hull. So once that's added, what we have to do is finally set um, p is equal to q, and then that, what we wrote previously, and then we have to finish the while loop. While p is not equal to l, now what this is going to look like is first, p and q are going to be these two, and then this is going to become p, and this is going to become q, right? And then this is going to become p, this is going to become q, and the for loop, the second for loop I wrote, this point is going to get added to the convex hull. Then this is going to become p, and this is going to become q. Then uh, this gets added, and then finally, this finally is going to become p, which was originally l, and then this do while loop is going to end. So that's pretty much how you populate the list of that one. Then you could initialize the 2D grid um, res to be uh, how many rows we need. List the size rows in two columns. And then for int i is equal to 0, i is less than res.length i plus plus mm, res of i is going to be set to list.get i, and then we're going to return res. Okay, if you like this video, please subscribe and like it and share it and let me know how it can improve in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.